Hi, I'm Peter Johnson, uh, and I want to introduce my colleague Sherry Evans. We're both midwives from Japigo, and we're here to show you the Helping Mothers Survive Bleeding After Birth module, which is the first module in the Helping Mothers Survive series. Helping Mothers Survive is designed to take training to teams of individuals who are responsible for uh, managing childbirth. Uh, and helping them to develop the skills that they need to prevent the needless death of women uh, from those conditions that are most responsible on the day of birth. So Sherry's going to help me to show the simulator and then we're going to show the training materials. Mom and Natalie is a strap-on simulator so Sherry as a midwife can wear it and deliver a baby for both demonstration and practice. And inside you see that there's a uterus and the uterus zips open for accessibility. And inside the uterus we have Neo Natalie, who is the same uh, simulator that is used for the Helping Babies Breathe program for newborn resuscitation. So training works pretty seamlessly with the Helping Babies Breathe uh, training. And then there's a placenta and an opportunity with the placenta to remove a part because a retained placenta, a piece being left inside, is a common cause of bleeding after birth. And then behind the uterus, you see there's a balloon here. And this balloon allows Sherry to squeeze one side and through the uterus and the skin, my being able to see that that uterus is firm. That's the way it's supposed to be after a birth. Or she can let that go and all the, all the air will go to the back and the uterus will be boggy, which is what happens that causes another common cause of bleeding after birth. And then, behind there, you'll see there's a reservoir that will hold up to a liter of blood. It's going to be refilled with uh, you know, red-colored uh, dye water. And Sherry can control the amount of bleeding based on the actions I take, whether they're appropriate or not. There's a, back here, just a lever to turn the bleeding up or down. Um, so the materials that we are using, along with the Mom and Natalie simulator, are designed to be taken and left at the facility for the teams. We have a Helping Mothers Survive Providers Guide, which helps people to know what the standards are that they have to meet and helps them to go through the training that they need, prescribes the training they need in order to be able to do that. We have a flip book that a master trainer would take out and leave with the peer practice coordinator to facilitate ongoing training after the master trainer leaves. And we have a tricolor action plan, which is similar to one that's used for helping babies breathe, will be a cornerstone of helping mothers survive, where we're trying to do is just like a stoplight, keep people in the green by preventing hemorrhage. In this case, recognizing there's a large area of yellow, which means there's a lot of actions that a provider, if they make the right decisions, can use to keep the mother out of the red and get them back into the green, or at least get them to a higher level of care. And then there's a small area in the red here where we're helping people to learn some of the life-saving measures that they might need in order to save a mother if, if all else fails. So those are the components to the Helping Mothers Survive training.